Ghana Cooks Season 1. After a thorough search, the Ghana Cooks judges selected their top 12 home cooks. And last week, two of our home cooks, Maxwell and William, met their rather untimely departure from the Ghana Cooks competition. Today, the remaining 10 cooks will face another challenge, yet another opportunity to prove that they deserve their spot in the Ghana Cooks kitchen. So you're watching Ghana Cooks, Kirti Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, Lily. It's Onga. What does it do? It's the key to delicious food. Onga gives any dish such a great taste and unique flavor that every meal is a special treat. Mm. Can I help? Hmm. Always when the food is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Onga, Mama's helping hand. And now, introducing the 50 gram sachet, which gives you more. The judges today. I don't know what they are thinking. They are, they are cool. They are human beings. It's going to be a little bit fun. They are more helpful. They are, they are expecting the best out of us. But all I say is that I just pray they should be fair to us today. Welcome back to Ghana Cooks. Our contestants are here anxiously waiting for the judges. I'm certain they're all eager to know what task is in store for them. Well, so am I. So let's welcome our judges. Chef Gary Lane, Chef John Odro and our mystery judge today, Yope Yo Dade Chu the third. Queen mother of Dodowa. This is my dream and I'll not let anyone stand between me and my dream. I've always had the passion to cook and now I'm glad I'm here. I know I can win this. Second place is not good enough. I've come this far and there's no going back. None of the contestants want this more than I do. And it's only one winner they're looking for. I'm not giving up though. If you are doing something and you are not enjoying it, then it's not worth doing. Welcome guys um, again to the Ghana Cook's Kitchen. Last week, you experienced pressure of cooking at a high level. From today, we will be stretching your creativity to a different level. Two of your colleagues have already left the competition. Today, two of you will be leaving. Face your first mystery basket last week. Today, there is another mystery basket for you to create something for us. Inside the mystery basket are some ingredients. We have carefully selected these ingredients and you have to use them all, plus any other ingredients you wish to add in preparing your vegetarian dish. You really want to disappoint us. Today's mystery basket, hmm, it's a great challenge. It confused me. I, I was wondering what will be in this mystery basket. Maybe I'm going to turn the misery into ministry. What am I going to do with something so ordinary to make it look extraordinary? We are sending you again to Koala, the leading shop in food items and more, to get the rest of your ingredients. You will have five minutes to get all your ingredients and go to the checkout. The bus will leave Koala exactly 15 seconds after your five minutes is up. Again, if the bus gets here without you, you will be disqualified. Select your ingredients carefully. Ready, steady, and off you go. Items in the mystery basket are new to me. You had to infuse fruit into a vegetarian dish, which is vegetable. And now I'm a vegetarian is my strong point. Today, when we went to Kuala, we knew how to time ourselves more than last week. It's not new to me because I was there first and I know the environment and all that. I had to look for a uh, puff pastry, but I wasn't able to get it. So I had to use a plan B. It was only cinnamon that I was looking for. The shampoo was good. We got all what we wanted. season one the very first set of contestants are about to get into the kitchen do their own thing either face the wrath or earn the respect of the judges and Estina and Charity are next 
Have you had a nice week to prepare and to think of what you're going to do? Yes. For today's vegetarian challenge? Yes. Today in our mystery basket we have sweet potato, unga spices, we have a mixed tin of beans, we have a pear, and we have mushrooms. Ernestina, can you tell us what they're getting for us today? I'm making plantain porridge. Then, because of the sweet potato we are having from the mystery box, I'm going to mix them together. Charity? I'm preparing mashed fried potatoes together with um, vegetable sauce. And then, because we're using the sweet potato, I'll use a little bit of the sweet potato in the, in the sauce to get the sweetness. I would like to see your presentation and then your hygiene, the, the way you, you keep your kitchen. Enjoy yourselves. I want to smell food today. I want to get excited. Yeah? Ready? Steady? Cook. I just want to be unique. I didn't want to copy anyone to do what my heart tells me. Believe me, I've never done vegetarian dish before, never. So, but as a chef, you have to cook whatever you are asked to cook. I want to see nice, something nice and fresh in your fruit salad, huh? You don't have much time at all. The judges are not rude. The judges are not wearing any mask, sort of. But the moment you see them, you just get confused. I will attribute my confidence level today to the dish I'm, you know, I made. You want to work with it, Charity? You can make it work. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Fire up, move back, answer. Um, I think they would like my dish because I used some natural herbs and leaves and then for my dressing of the salad I didn't use any processed uh, dressing, I used citrus and pure honey. In future, what would I have done with this? The pepper is fine, it's brilliant, but I could still maintain the layer of the pepper as you cut it off, okay? Bait them together so you kind of have nice. it going off, like a lid with it, okay? And also put a little bit of vegetables at the base so throw out more colors. As they were testing my food, I was like, what is going on? What is going to happen? What will be their comment? What will be their feedback? Especially Chef John, who doesn't show any expression at all when he's tasting. I like the beans with the plantain. Cut through it a little bit more, smaller in cubes. Peel the skin off, cut it nicely. Okay. Yeah, and present it. It's very chunky and rustic, which is fine because it's a rustic dish. But I think it's tasty. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much, Renatina. Thank you, Chef. I think I've done enough to save myself from eviction today because of the comments I got from the judges. When they were counting me down, I managed to manoeuvre things and then quickly put things on plate to do my presentation. With the dish itself, you prepare it and then you don't have a feel or the taste because of the tension, the pressure and all that. I don't see myself as a professional. I don't see myself as the best. I'm still under training and being good. I can taste the pear, the ragu, you've got the beans. Yeah, flavor wise, I'm still looking for a bit climbing higher. Yeah. Presentation a bit Presentation more. Presentation definitely. But your taste, trust me, you've done well. I was shaken because I realized my main dish was just becoming a mess, but I didn't give up. Just next time. Have your pan hot. Thank you very much. Thank you. you. may take your tea. I'm glad the chief judge wanted to finish the whole thing up. I never expected it. Welcome today to the vegetarian challenge. Jackie and Nana, this is a cook-off. We are looking for presentation. We are looking for quality. It doesn't matter what is done there. It matters what comes here. Are you ready? Yes. You have 40 minutes. Time starts now. Nana, what are you cooking for us? I am making um, vegetable soup with the mushrooms and the potato from the mystery basket. And then I'm making um, a wrap with vegetable filling. Jackie? Uh, I'm making a Greek omelette with uh, yogurt dressing and um, vegetarian fantasy. My expectations for today it's another new thing to me. I've never cooked where there's no fish. 
where there's no meat, where there's no chicken. At least there'll be sardine inside there. And then today I'm going to cook without all of these things. I'm thinking what stock is going to make the thing nice? Today, I felt more nervous than last week because I saw Maxwell and William go. I knew that today, two of us will also go home. Get it done, check your presentation, your area, and then you relax. Don't forget to put your plate onto a tray. Countdown has begun. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Right, Jackie, this is very nice. Explain to us your name of your dish. It's a Greek omelette with yogurt dressing and vegetarian fantasy. Okay. There was so much pressure at first, but I got some encouragement from the chefs. So I left the fear of leaving and just did what I did best, cook. I was very nervous because Chef Gary said that even in his own restaurant, some staff take around three years to get a perfect omelette. I haven't even worked in a professional kitchen. I'll let you recook whatever you've done for me. Then I can tell you, you really, you are the man. Thank it's you, good. Chef. Well Thank done. you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. The presentation looks attractive. Thank you, madam. And it's, it's nice. It tastes good as well. Today, if I'm going to face a vision, I hope not because I gave my best. When we're told it was 40 minutes, in my mind I thought, oh, that's good. I mean, you're cooking something very small for tasting. But then you get there, and then the first thing you hear is you have 10 minutes more. And then I don't know where the 30 minutes went. The judges are more helpful than, so you don't become so afraid, but it still feels like you won't make it when the time is running so fast. I liked your presentation. I like the way that you thought out of the box and gave us three little bowls for each of us. Well yes. done. Thank you. It, it was good. The presentation is fine. I like it. And I said, OK. Actually, I, I really won't remember some of the things I put inside if you asked me to make it a second time. But glad it worked. Well, hello. It's going to cook season one. And the stakes are really high. With two people out of the competition already, another two stand to be eliminated today. And so you can expect that um, tensions are mounting. Mavis and Mohammed, how are you doing this week? We are fine, thank you. Huh? Did you yeah, was, sir. narrowly survive last week and was it nerve wracking? Yes, sir. Okay, and also cooking in front of a queen mother must be very, very uh, nerve wracking for you today. Huh? We are very honored. Madam, so John and myself, we are also very honoured to have you here today. You. Today's challenge is a vegetarian challenge, not a vegan, which means you can use more butter, cream, cheese, etc. Yeah. Tell us what you're cooking for us today, Mavis. Vegetarian special. And you, Mohammed? Doing potato soup. Are you ready, Ghana? Let's cook. For the first time I met the judges, I was a bit nervous. And as time went on, I got relaxed. The mystery box is a bit scary because you don't know the kind of things that you are going to find in the box. They are, they are expecting the best out of us. Guys, you got 10 minutes. You need to start with sandwiches and things. I've come this far and there's no going back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hands up, go back. Thank you very much. I can see it wants to bring the, uh, the skills and everything out of us to exhibit our talents. That's what I can see that today is demanding. What's the name of the soup? Chateau soup with sandwich. With sandwich? Okay. So it's a potato soup with sandwich. Now, what is this supposed to be? A toasted sandwich. And what's inside? Vegetables? The best. Soup is not bad. I like the concept you went with it. I love the taste. OK, taste is there, but mm. I think uh, you need to try and reduce the way you boil it. The station wasn't attractive. You didn't garnish it, so it, it doesn't even taste good. And you see the garnishing, it, makes, it looks attractive. So next time, you work on your finishing. If this bread was nicely toasted and crusty, and you garnished it very bit nicely, yeah, just to bring it out, in other words, put makeup on the lipstick 
or lipstick on the on the face, yeah, it would have been a difference. Yeah, thank you. About the eviction, I'm not too scared because it's a it's a competition, and as you go on, some has to drop. What is the name of your dish, Mavis? Vegetarian special. I like what you've done here. Yeah? You've used penne, very nice. You've used everything. I see the beans in here. This is very nice. You've used corn. It's actually a very nice dish. Let's just hope it tastes nice. Let's hope it tastes nice. And, and last time again, I would just a little bit finish off and also open it, open it a little bit. Yeah. Wow, I just had a piece of pear. Very nice. You know what? Remember what, before you say something? Remember what I said to you about the carrots? Please blanch them before you saute because it's going to be al dente, it's going to be crunchy. Your carrots are not cooked. It's really nice compost. I think you need to work a bit more on getting your vegetables on the same level. Well but done. Very nice fish. Naturally, I'm going to finish this time. Well nice dish, mate. Thank you. The judges' comments were in the right direction because it's like they are already there. So, the reactions are... Mmm, ah, like, mm? Yes, yes, people are really loving it. So, what do you think? Mmm. It's the same reaction everywhere. It's official. The food revolution is here. Cooks and households everywhere are scrambling for onga shrimp cubes. Are you there? <laughs> onga, mama's helping hand. Alright, so you're welcome back. Ghana season one, and the last place I want to be is in the shoes of these contestants. I mean, you can just smell nerves. Richard and Deborah, how are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. So you're going to have something special for us today. I'm looking at presentation. I'm looking at taste. Do not use everything in your basket. You will be disqualified on points. Ready, steady, Ghana. Let's cook. Today in those tasks, I'm going to prepare my mom's um, favorite dish. What are you doing for us today? I'm preparing a goosey loaf. Yeah? With sandwiched eba. And you, Debra, what are you doing? Today I'll be making um, a vegetarian pancake and um, to serve with um, beans and um, potatoes. My mom is going to be very happy. In the spirit, I know she's going to test the dish before I take it to the judge. I'm just saying because I'm trying to prepare her the food she loves best. As at now, I'm also running my own catering institution, which is something to become big in the future. So winning this competition, meaning I have more capital to invest into the business to make it grow. And now I'm a vegetarian is my strong point. And uh, my mom, before she passed away, she's also a vegetarian. So all my life, will be cooking the vegetarian dish without meat or fish. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and stop. Wire up, move back, answer. During the 40 minutes given to us, my plan is to turn the vegetarian dish into a love vegetarian dish. If I emerge at the bottom three today, in fact, I won't sleep tonight. As if possible, go and wake up ECG to bring the light. I can taste the pear in your ragu. You've got the beans. Yeah. Flavor-wise, I'm still looking for a bit climbing higher. Yeah. Presentation a Presentation bit more. Presentation definitely. But your tastes, trust me, you've done well. I'm not in your mind, but I know surely I am not living tonight. It was never us at the beginning. But then I got there and then I had to deliver. So I did what I had to do. My presentation, according to Chef Gary, was a mess. I was very confident about my dish because I know the dish I prepared and I know it's a dish that should take me to another level. We got a concept right, but I think the sauce should have been a little bit more I don't on the side so that I can put it on the crispy to soften that. Aside the presentation, they liked my vegetables 
where on the points. Today in our mystery basket we have sweet potato, unga spices, we have a mixed tin of beans, we have a pear and we have mushrooms. I would like to see your presentation and then your hygiene, the, the way you, you keep your kitchen. Ready, steady, cook. I decided to prepare this dish because I don't want to be working too much on things that will take a lot of time. When I got there, I was just like, I don't know what I'm coming to do here. This means you have 24 left. Ten seconds to go. Countdown has begun. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I am not a caterer. I don't know anything about caterer, but I've been cooking when I was a child. Your presentation looks very nice. I was really in a hurry. I don't know whether I'm going to be evicted or... I've done my best. I liked your presentation. I liked the way that you thought out of the box and gave us three little bowls for each of us. Well done. The taste was good. The presentation was good. Part of the judges today wasn't anything so much, but even though there will be a little bit panic, but I have to get over it to work. Your presentation is a little bit on the rough side. And I think maybe in future, we we'll just infuse everything together. So probably need to work on putting three items like this together again. And my experience over there today was a little bit okay than the previous episode. I can taste the pear, the ragu, you've got the beans. It's actually very nice. Yeah. Flavor wise, I'm still looking for a bit climbing higher. Yeah. Presentation a Presentation bit more. Presentation definitely. But your taste, trust me, is down well. It's right there. It's a competition if I'm part of the bottom three and uh, I'm not able to make it through. Well, I've gained experience. Mommy, can I help? Can I have your help? What is this? It's Onga. What does it do? It's the key to delicious food. Anga gives any dish such a great taste and unique flavor that every meal is a special treat. Mm. Can I help? Hmm. Always when the food is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Anga, Mama's helping hand. And now, introducing the 50 gram sachi, which gives you more. Ghana Cooks is also supported by Labadi Beach Hotel, Quality Fest, and Koala Shopping Centre. Welcome, guys, um, again to the Ghana Cooks Kitchen. We saw some good dishes and we saw some not so good dishes. I think you all did very well today. It's a long day, so let's, without any further ado, if I get evicted, I know that I was beat by very tough people. But if I remain, it means that I got lucky and I should try harder next time. When I call your name, you will be in the bottom three. Out of the bottom three, two will immediately hand in their aprons to me, say goodbye to your colleagues, and leave the Ghana Cook's Kitchen. But my victory is not the end of the road anyway. I can still try my hands off few, um, do all the cooking things I've been doing before now, and I know God will see me through. Deborah. Mohammed. The rest of you? Are all through? Please take off your aprons and hand it in. Say goodbye to your friends and please leave the Ghana Cook's Kitchen. Thank you very much. Two cooks have exited the competition. The heat has definitely been turned up on the contestants still in the running towards becoming the first Ghana cook. Next week, the journey continues as we set off to unearth the biggest culinary star in Ghana. This is Ghana Cooks, proudly brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, Lele. It's a competition, and it's only one winner they're looking for. It has been a very great challenge, honestly. But my expectations for this competition, to be honest with my friends out there listening to me, it's not an easy task.